This is the new Cranky T36 crossover. And for once, it lives up to that billing. It really is a kind of hybrid mix between a planing boat and a fast trawler. It's powered by twin Volvo D4 300 horsepowers, so it's a full planing boat, good for around 30 knots. But inside, it's more of a trawler yacht feel. And the really clever thing about it is just how many cabins they've managed to fit on board. So let's go and take a look at it, and I'll show you around. Prices for the cranky T36 crossover start at 300,000 euros, or 350, including VAT. But what you do get is a lot of boat for your money. There's a large bathing platform, and the transom has a number of tricks up its sleeve. There's a big storage locker for fenders and lines, and then above that, a proper wet bar with a sink, the grill, and a chopping board with storage to keep all the cooking smells away from the cockpit. It's a good sized side deck, and then a really sociable cockpit layout with a spread of seating that allows you to sit outside and enjoy the ride. Moving into the saloon, glass doors you can shut this whole area off so that it's really habitable all through the year. There's a raised dinette on the port side with an expanding table to make sure you can comfortably dine probably about six in total. Got these very upright windows all round and on the starboard side above the galley it's got mirrored lockers which again just help bounce the light around with this galley itself concealed under a separate cover. The helm seat is forward, there's a single set helm. The seat itself isn't the most comfortable, there's a relatively limited knee room, but that's because the backrest folds over to become extra work surface when you're working at the galley. The sliding windows on both sides, letting in plenty of fresh air and enabling you to communicate with your crew out on deck. And then moving down into the accommodation, there's three steps down. And forward is the master cabin. And what's nice to see on this cranky is that it's really well finished. You've got this Alcantara effect suede covering on the hull sides that give it a really luxurious feel. You've also got these hull windows as well as an opening port and a hatch overhead. So you get plenty of natural light. You can enjoy the views forward. The storage again even here the lockers are all finished nicely a little bit of extra sign of quality and over on the port side there's more lockers and a little vanity unit with a mirror and a TV so that's the master cabin and then moving aft there is a really good sized twin with standing headroom at the door and two good sized single beds. It's a full beam cabin so you can see the windows poking through the other side. The sitting headroom over the bed and standing headroom at the entrance to the cabin. And again you've got the opening port and a hull window. So you think 36 foot, two good cabins, that's all fairly normal. But the real surprise is when you open this door and find two more berths. So you've got a Pullman bunk on the top deck and a permanent bunk down below. And it's not a huge cabin, but it's perfectly big enough for a couple of children. So that just leaves one more door to open. And this is the bathroom and that is the one possible compromise on this boat. You've got six beds on it, but you've only got one bathroom. On the other hand, it is a good size, but it does have the loo and the shower all in one cabin. So there's only ever going to be one of you using it at any one time. So that's the compromise. But having said that, to get three proper double cabins on a 36 foot boat, and one as clever and innovative as this, has to be considered a good result.